Avadil Kumar sharing with you a video on volume of cylinders. Here is an application question. The question is a circular swimming pool has a diameter of 7.6 meters and a height of 2.1 meters. What is the volume of the pool in liters? You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Let's begin by sketching, uh, making a rough sketch of this uh, pool. So let us say that that's a circular pool, right? And that's the height of this pool, right? So that is the kind of sketch we have. It is over a diameter of 7.6 meters. So 7.6 meters is the diameter of the circular pool and the height is 2.1 meters right so that's the that's the height for us now fortunately for us in this particular question we are given all the units in meters so that's a good part uh, but the volume we require is in which unit volume is required in liters so we also need to find a relation between uh, meter cube when you find volume using meters you'll get meter cube and liters as your <coughs> volume right so you need a relation between them also so let's write down the formulas which you might need first is the volume itself which is pi r square height pi r square h so that is the volume now pi r square is the area of this circle is the area of this circle so let me just shade this area right so that is pi r square part right and then when you multiply it by the height, you get the volume or the capacity of this particular pool. So whenever you have cylindrical kind of a pool with circular base, that's the formula to be used. Now we are given the diameter. So the diameter is given to us as 7.6 meters. We can find radius as half of diameter, right? Half of diameter. So it is half of 7.6 meter is it okay so let's do half of this we can use the calculator 7.6 divided by 2 equals to let's write decimal value which is 3.8 meters so that is the radius for us now in this formula we know everything we know pi we know r and we know height height is given to us as 2.1 meters correct so we have all the things known to us we can now find the volume so let's calculate the volume from all this given to us let me keep this side for formulas okay now <clears throat> as soon as i multiply we'll get volume in meter cube so we should also write down the formula for the conversion one meter cube is equals to how many liters do you know that well it is one thousand 1 meter cube is 1000 liters. So remember that. Now actually you can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions, right? So now what we are going to do is we are going to do our calculations. So volume is pi r square h. So let's use the calculator. We'll write pi as such. If you write pi in terms of 3.14, pi approximately is equals to 3.14 but that is approximate is that okay it gives you a lot of error when you're working with big numbers especially in meter cube okay we'll see that also radius is 3.8 so let me write 3.8 whole square times height which is 2.1 so so the units are since you'll multiply this meter it becomes meter square this is meters and that will result in meter cube for volume correct so the units are in meter cube so let's use the calculator we'll use pi as such shift and this key gives me pi and then i'll multiply this by 3.8 square times 2.1 that gives me 95.26565 i'm going that far since you can see the conversion between meter cube and liter it is thousand times so i need to switch this right decimal uh, to the right <clears throat> so that is my volume of this circular swimming pool in meter cube how do i convert that to liters 
I need to multiply this by 1000. So I get 95.26565 times 1000. Now, so the so we just multiply by 1000, right? To get this particular unit in liters, right? So that is how you get it. Now, once you do 1000, this decimal will move three places, one, two, and three, and you'll get your answer, which is 95265.65 liters. Do you see that? So let me show you here. So we have this number multiplied by 1000. That is equals to in decimals 95265. 95265.65 liters. Do you see? Multiplying by 1000 is simple since you can always move the decimal <coughs> three places, correct? To get your answer. So that is how you should be solving this question. And you could always round this answer to 95. 266 liters is it okay so that becomes your capacity or volume of this particular swimming pool now the question for you here is find the volume in centimeter cube so can you write question for you is uh, write volume in centimeter cube instead of liters which we just did right so you will need two formulas to do or understand this so i'll give you formulas which can connect right one liter is equals to one thousand centimeter cube right this is the formula which you can use to write this volume in centimeter cube and see how huge number you may get at times so most of the time meter cube may be a better unit to use than liters or even centimeter cube. I hope that makes sense. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos and feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.